family, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Tony Ariel, live in the flesh. Anyways, um, I just want to say first off, thank you for everybody that, that has subscribed to my channel already and who watched my last video and liked it and everything. And if you're new to my channel, can you please subscribe and like my, and comment on my last video and continue to watch this video for me and tell your friends about me. Greatly appreciate This video will be a video of me showing you guys how I touch up my clothes. Oh, so hashy. Um, how I touch up my closure, frontals, whatever you want to call it. I have a closure on right now because I did a quick leave in my head um, <clears throat> like two weeks ago or a week ago. So this video is just me touching up my closure because it's like starting to, you know, push back. You know, it's just starting to look a little messy. I'm going to show y'all how I do that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, I thought I had everything that I needed for this video in the bathroom we are ready. I had to go grab some stuff, so that was my little break. Um, things that I use to retouch up my closure. You don't want to start with me. You don't want to start with me. Clip it. <laughs> the first thing I do, as you can see, if y'all don't know if y'all can see or not, my shit ain't lifting, lifting for real. But it's fucked up, so I gotta fix it. So, what I do is. <sighs> I'm about to drown. Whew. Hold on. I just spray with water. I look so stupid, bro. It really should just start breaking up. Coming up easier. See, like, it's just coming up now. Yep, yep, yep. So now your closure will be lifted up, like her mom's is, off my head. Some girls wear they shit like this. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. So be to get cotton balls. If you don't have cotton balls, you can get tissue, paper towel, your finger. You don't gotta be sweet like me with the cotton balls. So, cotton balls. So you just put some alcohol on there, and you just wanna clean your forehead. Oh, it's about to get in my eye. It's about to get in my eye. All right. All right. Of some sort like this put some alcohol in one designated spot and I'm not rushing the process but if you want to rush like gotta do this shit you cuz you about to go out tonight girl just grab your blow dryer get to blowing it your closure gonna dry and then as soon as your closure dry you can follow the steps that I'm going to do after I sit in here and wait for my closure to dry. Okay, so I just start positioning like where I want the closure to be so I can know where to put my glue at, okay? So, usually how I measure it is, I go based on my eyebrows. So, if I just feel like 
I got it right there on my forehead. Do I want it right there? That's straight. And I see where, like, it's stuff on my eyebrows. So, like, that's how flat it should be. About right there. I just go down to my eyebrows. And it's, like, right above my eyebrow right here. So, I just know where to put my glue, basically. So... take your glue I use ghost bond XL extra large extra large you get your ghost bond you also are going to need a blow dryer so I measure mine from like right here so I'm gonna just start my glue right here so oh, I got a bump I knew I was feeling something I knew it So once you do that, you blow dry until it turns like clear. So now you're going with another layer. You're about to place the closure. So you literally grab the ends of your closure, the ends. You pull it down wherever you want it to be. You stick the middle in first and then pull it up sides so you stick the middle down first and then you pull your it Because I really thought my hairline was going to be all the way down here. It is. And then you just spray your mousse up there so your shit can flatten up, your edges can loosen up, and everything else. Start laying my baby hairs down. Or just trying to figure out where I want them to be, how I want them to be. But yeah, your closure like should not lift up. Okay, my edges will not cooperate. I really don't even like these for real, but this is what I came up with so far. So after you do your edges, you're pretty much done. Like once you lay that closure down and you do your edges, it's literally you're done from there. Real ass